everybody. This is Nicole Schwartz with the Diana Initiative, and we're back for Hacker Summer Camp 101. Today, I've got beer with me. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Bianca Lewis, but my hacker handle is BSI Lab. Um, I run Girls Who Hack, which is my nonprofit, and I also am super interested in things like election security and public speaking. So today we've asked you here because I heard that you have a thing called DC Next John at DEF CON. What exactly is that? Ooh, okay. So DC Next Gen is the youth initiative at DEF CON. Um, we just started it last year, but it's already going super strong and it's very exciting and I can't wait to talk more about it. Awesome. Now, is this something where the kids coming need to have some kind of, you know, experience with hacking or can they kind of come in green and know nothing about hackers at all? This was one of the main questions we had when first starting this. Okay, what is our sort of intelligence demographic, for lack of a better way to put it? Because you could have like a 12-year-old who knows everything about cybersecurity, and then you'll have a 17-year-old who's never touched anything like this. Um, that is why it is for every skill level. So whether you're just starting off, you can barely type, you know, you're still doing the search and peck typing, or if you're more experienced and have played around with like hack the box and such, there is content for you. And we scale the different classes and games and things we host based off of skill level. Awesome. Now, since you have been running for a year, the things that you did last year, I heard that you kind of popped out to the other villages. How exactly did that work? Ooh, okay. So one of our biggest things was we wanted, unlike Roots Asylum, which I don't know if you remember, that was like the kids track a while ago. That was all just in one room. But DEF CON is huge. And I went to DEF CON, I think my first DEF CON, I was like 11 or 12. I didn't want to just stay in the Roots Asylum. I went there a bit, yeah, but there's a lot of other cool stuff to see. But all the other villages didn't have any content specifically for kids. So what we wanted to do was reach out to all of these different groups and say, hey, could you make us like a puzzle or a game or something specifically for the younger demographic, a CTF for them maybe? And we compiled a list of all these other villages. We had like 14 villages participate uh, who created these challenges so that... Um, the youth are not stuck in just one room. They can explore all of DEF CON with their parents. So it's a good like bonding experience too. Awesome. Now, other than when you visit the other villages, because obviously they might have some equipment requirements, does anyone need to bring anything specific to participate or is it just your DEF CON badge and show up? DEF CON badge and show up. And obviously bring a kind heart and a spongy brain because it is a very collaborative environment. And we do provide some laptops. Obviously, it's ideal if you bring your own so that people who didn't bring one can use one. Um, and we have a ton of different tools, lockpicks, irons, et cetera, that they can play around with. So they can just come in with a willingness to learn and make friends, and that will happen. Awesome. Now. We're talking about kids, so I'm assuming this means under 17. Is there, like, a minimum age? Um, so our general demographic is middle school and high school age students because that's the age where they can really process and comprehend things. But we did have a lot of younger kids who were, like, elementary school age, second grade, who still participated and got something out of it because we had some challenges and some things that were more hands-on activities that they loved. We even had a um, sort of a farewell party at the very end in which they got to play some hackery style games and make friends. And I heard that some very like shy kids were able to be social too. So it's really anyone 17 and under, but most of our challenges and content is aimed at middle school to high school. Now, you kind of mentioned that you had like a get together. Do you have an official meetup or party or are you just a village during village hours? 
we are just a village during village hours. The party was like its own separate content because DC Next Gen is a DEF CON entity. Sort of how the DEF CON CTF is a DEF CON entity, not just a CTF at DEF CON. Um, meaning that we need to follow, obviously, normal hours and we can't do anything outside of DEF CON. That's also for, like, the safety and integrity of, like, the kids themselves because, you know. <laughs> yeah. Now, do you sell any electronic badges or stickers or, uh, I mean, everyone who, if you have not ever heard about it there's a thing called badge life and stickers are kind of currency with hackers so there's a lot of swaggity items around does dc next gen have any specific ones that either are for sale or given away as prizes Ooh, yeah so our badge our main badge because we have a few smaller ones is our pride and joy um we want everything to be accessible to all the youth there so um everything that we provide is free if after DEF CON, a specific adult wants a badge that was obviously meant for the kids or something, we can talk about that. We give the badges a lot to volunteers who have helped out and such. But even though a parent has to be with the kid when they come into the village, the parent doesn't get one of the DC Next Gen badges. It's just the youth who get these badges and are able to participate. Our badge uh, last year was absolutely amazing um it had a three color paper screen it had nine neopixel leds which correlated with nine touch sensors it had speakers it had rfid it had e everything um infrared and it was perfect because we had classes surrounding the badge in which you learned how to program the badge and then hack the badge so you could display different things on it and mess around with it and it even correlated with our CTF. Uh, this year, the badge is going to be really cool, too, since it's going to be even more interactive. And that's all I can say about it now. <laughs> now, I know that running a village costs a lot of money. Do you um, get sponsors? Do you solicit donations? Like, how do you fund this? And how could somebody who's interested in this uh, potentially help you out? Um, so... Being a DEF CON entity, DEF CON covers the cost of most of the things, like the badges, the swag, all of that. However, um, two ways that any old normal person can help out is either by reaching out to their company and getting swag for us. Like Black Hills has their um, card game that they provided for the kids so that they could have those um, different companies reached out and different villages even provided like beginner soldering kits and badges and different things that the kids can take home and play with so if you're able to bring something that the kids can like experience or take home that's great and we always love volunteers who can help out like clean up and prep and all of that so um, you can reach out to me um, on the internets or you can reach out to bc next gen on the internets <laughs> All right. Awesome. And for anyone who doesn't know, it takes a village to run a village. So uh, volunteering your time is definitely something that makes everything go smoothly. Uh, so if this is something that's interested to you, as she said, reach out on the Internet. Uh, now, does your event, like you said that you're a part of the DEF CON entity, do you show up at any of the other DEF CON events throughout the year or any other events throughout the year? Or is it just only at Las Vegas in August? So far, it's only at Las Vegas um, because it is DC Next Gen. That's DEF CON Next Gen. So it is the youth track. However, if possible, if in the future, because we're still growing. Um, last year, we had a little over 150 kids. This year, we're expecting about double that number. Um, if it does grow to a certain size, it would be amazing to bring just Next Gen, not just DC Next Gen and make it like besides next gen and do this sort of a thing at other places. But I think it's important that the largest hacker conference has its own track for you, especially since a lot of parents bring their kids um, and there's no content for them. But well, now there is. So, um, would you be interested in going to like the DEF CON in Seattle or the DEF CON in China or they're kind of the same threshold where you have to get big enough 
for that to kind of be worthwhile to look at a kid's track for those. Definitely big enough, though it would be ideal because at the end of the day, we are a DEF CON entity. Um, it's more up to Dark Tangent himself. Uh, we're still sort of proving ourselves to him like, hey, look, this is important. This is big. This is cool. But once we do get to a certain point, the more we grow, the better. So if you were considering bringing your kids, I think this is a pitch to bring all of the young hackers to come and enjoy themselves so that it can grow and uh, pop up in other places. Exactly. You said the internet. If I want to uh, follow along to find out what activities might be useful for my family or my friends who are bringing kids, where are the best places to go? Do you have like a Twitter? Do you have a website? Uh, is there like the DEF CON forum? Like what is the best place for me to go follow along? Okay. Um, we do have a social media, which is a Twitter. Um, that's at DC Next Gen. We also have a website, bcnextgen.org, which you can go check out. That will also answer a lot of questions that parents may have because DEF CON, generally speaking, sounds and looks scary because, hello, a group of crazy hackers with wild hair jumping around and having fun, you know. Um, but it is really a safe and welcoming space. So it will answer questions about what it's like, what events will be going on, um, what you need, what you don't, et cetera. Awesome. And then for anyone wondering, like, is this something where kids like can or should preferentially like follow along with the DC Next Gen activities the whole time? Or is it designed more for like a pop in, pop out when something on the schedule interests them? So like, what's your pitch for how much time somebody should spend there before finding like the thing that they're really passionate about? Ooh, okay. DC Next Gen is designed more as a pop-in, pop-out sort of a space, especially since um, you need, like, an adult with you. If you're an older teenager, we can get, like, a video recording of uh, you both giving consent to being, like, left alone and it'll be picked up, etc. Because you have your own phone, but for the younger kids, the adult needs to stay with them, which means it needs to be more of a pop-in, pop-out style. Um, at the very start of the conference, we have a giant sort of Welcome, everyone. This is DC Next Gen. This is all the content we have. Uh, meet Raider Raccoon, our mascot, um, and get all your swag, get your badge, etc. And then we sort of let them free because now that they have a paper schedule that says like, hey, we have all these talks, activities, classes, things you can do. They can come in, play around with the CTF, go get lunch. Then we have content literally all around the conference at different villages. Because all the villages are hosting different CTFs and games and things they've made. So, um, like, the social engineering village has the youth CTF, which is absolutely amazing. And they're going to run around and do that. But then they're going to come back for a party later. But then they're going to go. It's a very much a stop-and-go kind of a place unless something you see interests you. And then you should definitely stay and hang out. Awesome. Thank you so much for coming on and explaining. And I hope anyone who is kind of nervous about like, should I bring my kids? Should I find, you know, a sitter is kind of encouraged to bring your kids, let them experience DEF CON with you. Awesome. Thank you.